Hello and welcome to episode 70 of the Shower Party Podcast. I'm Liam Savage. We got Michael Dickens on the side of the bed. That was the (laughs) first time you said it right. Yeah. Michael Dickens Siders over here. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm having a gay old time. It's uh, it's real nice outside. It's actually not the brutal hellscape that California usually is. It's been real nice. I'm very excited for winter. Yeah, just, actually, just this every day. Yeah, just sixty degrees. Yeah, sixty five and sunny and nice. We went to the grocery store and it was it was very nice. It's peaceful. a nice day out. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, we uh, we had a little of a term. Every short we post, I think it just attracts the dumbest people in society to my channel, because I posted shorts and then people comment taking shit seriously, mm-hmm. and <laughs> so it was the one about the uh, R's about the condescending page turning. People are still commenting on that, and people are saying like Americans are really proud of how dumb they are. Proud to show of how dumb they are. So he said, he typed it wrong. Yeah, so I, I, I was having a fun time just correcting them. Sure. <laughs> just saying off. You meant off. <laughs> I refuse to believe anyone does uh, that subconsciously without thinking about it. Page done. Time to lick my fingertip. Do you know, do you do that if no one else is in the room? Probably not. That guy was on our side. Yeah, he was on your side. Yeah. He liked it. And then the, uh, the one about the not having sex while drunk. Well, me and Brandon, that was me and Brandon. Oh, okay. Uh, someone was like, "What is society? Is this is what society has become?" <laughs> is Just, is that a question? The, I, guess, that, I think it's a statement. They a que- oh, there is a question. It's a statement. Yeah. Oh, this is what society. Which is like oh. we were saying that not to have drunk sex, which seems like a nice thing to do. Yeah. To ask probably. for not ra- to not. Ra- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what society has become. <laughs> we Sorry, can't we, do that anymore. We don't like doing it anymore. Sorry, fellas. <laughs> And then someone else said, what is this, the Mental Midgets podcast? Pretty funny. That's yeah. actually a pretty funny line. <laughs> Does that mean you're stupid? Yes, yeah, so I just responded yes. But yes, I think that just means... mental, Mentally small. Yeah. Which on that episode, I did say my dick was 5'8". So I have 5'8 dick, 3'2 mind. <laughs> pretty good averages. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Proportionally, very nice. No, very. Yeah. <laughs> I said my dick was like a 5'8 bodybuilder because it's just like average, but they're very veiny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just vascular as hell. Yeah. Just like on looks roids. really good in pictures up close. Yeah. But then if you <laughs> you put it on a scale. Yeah. Like, Whoa. If, it, if it has a tan and it's like lighting is perfect, mm-hmm. got a good pump going. <laughs> he looks so good. So nice. Other than that, he just kind of looks like mm-hmm. a blob. <laughs> yeah. Don't put him next to a real bodybuilder. Yeah. Don't put him next to like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, He's like 6'2 and vascular you know uh-huh. you gotta get me next to the normal guys yeah the amateurs <laughs> i'm not saying that five eight bodybuilders aren't real bodybuilders they are kind they of are. i mean they didn't kind, build yeah. their body up you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, they, did build it. they can build it out but they can't build it up yeah, what are they trying right. to do yeah that's next in bodybuilding is them just trying to get taller well they have those uh those surgery now where you can <laughs> you can break your leg and they implant like a bone. Yeah. And then they wait for it to fuse back together so that you gain like an inch or two on your legs. They just keep breaking your legs? Yeah. Dang. I should have had them do that to me. I got long enough legs actually. Yeah, but you're just gonna be like a three eight torso with six foot legs. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be brutal. They'll figure out how to add extra ribs. Stretch uh, you out a bit. <laughs> just the, uh, the what is it, the opposite of Marilyn Manson? Mm-hmm. Just keep on adding ribs. Yeah, yeah, and then break your spine, and it keeps growing. You can't walk, <laughs> yeah. but at least you'll be tall. You add vertebrae? Yeah. Damn. And it's good, because they're probably hitting the maximum potential of, like, largeness. Mu- muscle mass, you know. Hypertrophy. Oh, bodybuilders? Yeah, yeah, bodybuilders. So, they're, they're I think the next... They the next to, step is going up. They have to go up so they can go out more. Otherwise, they're going to look like a bowling ball. Yeah, that's right. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's the future of bodybuilding. They, well, they, there are some bodybuilders. I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos about bodybuilders. Some of them before competition. You know those, um, those little tables that go upside down? They're supposed to help with your back and release pressure. Mm-hmm. So they do that before a competition so they can go into the higher... Uh, size bracket of like their six whatever oh. so they're so they stretch themselves out a yeah because it, getting... it, it lasts for about like a day to like stretch you up for about an inch and if you're on the cusp you can stretch My, yourself out so it's the opposite of what's it called um like martial arts you want to be in the higher like the, the I think bigger so. bracket because yeah i guess proportionally you know taller guys it takes yeah. a lot more muscle to, for them to fill out. Shorter guys, so. it's 
Yeah, they so look p- better. Comparatively, you'll look better than them. Mm. I don't even know if it was for body. I forget what he was doing. It was some kind of weightlifting thing. Oh. But it was based on height. So he would just go upside down for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just a, like a bodybuilder going into the bat cave, just hanging upside down <laughs> for the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very funny. Bodybuilders are just goths now. <laughs> they just go into the darkness, hang upside down. Yeah. That'd be tight. Have a goth bodybuilding show. Dude, that'd be fucking... <laughs> that'd be sick. <laughs> you would be... You could enter that. They have eyeliner on and just <laughs> bulging muscles. <laughs> fucking... They got the, like this thing. Yeah, that the, the bang. cover in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even like shoot up the school. They just take the school's lunch money. Yep. The, the tides have turned. The goths bullies. are now the bullies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't come to school tomorrow. <laughs> I want to kill myself. <laughs> Just jacked as hell. I'm going to hang myself in the bathroom tomorrow. Life is terrible. I hate my mom. You ever think about existence? <laughs> uh, Just smoking the cigarettes outside. Just jacked as shit. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're like in the gym smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listening to the, the, the... Oh, fuck. What's it called? The guy... Not the Who. I don't know. Never mind. Yeah. I fucked it up. <laughs> the Who. I fucked it up. <laughs> Mar- they're probably listening to Marilyn Manson. Yeah, the yeah. rapist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're like, mm. their their depression is what's making them big. <laughs> they're in there. They're like, I hate myself. They don't hit a PR, so they just slit their wrist. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, fuck! I should have squatted five eighty today. <laughs> God damn. Ah, feel the pain. <laughs> Uh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. I like that. That would be. <laughs> Imagine going to the gym like LA Fitness, and then one day they just like put blackout curtains on the windows. <laughs> just fuckers walking around in capes and yeah. stuff. Black lights. Yeah. <laughs> uh. God damn. They already. Have you listened to the music that they play at the LA Fitness? No. It is the same goddamn 15 songs. Really? I kind of wish they would switch it up. Just, just pop? Uh, you don't it's, listen to music? It's kind of like, it's mostly just pop from like 2015. Yeah. I don't gotcha. listen to my own music. Why? I'm a little bit, so if there's no music playing at the gym, I don't listen to any music <laughs> at all. <laughs> I only listen to what's playing at you the gym. You are a goth bodybuilder. I am. You're just the demons <laughs> in your head are what's fueling just you. sitting in my pain. Mm. God, the I'm music showing, helps. I'm showing you're a lot sh- of legs. Yeah, you're showing everything. I'm showing you my camo undies. You're seeing the frog. The frog eyes popping. <laughs> <laughs> My dick is so small. Oh. I uh, I tried manscape. I've been watching that uh, Naked Attraction. You saw an episode of it too. Yeah, the British horny show. Everyone's yeah. The everyone's just showing shaved. full dick and uncircumcised dick and vag on the screen. Yeah, that's crazy. It made me because whenever someone shaves real well, like they say, oh, nice and tidy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want your girlfriend to say yeah, that? Yeah, I wanted her to look at my dick and say, oh, nice oh, and tidy. Oh, that's nice and tidy. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I, uh, I did the full thing where I, I buzzed down the bush, and mm. then I took a razor on the shaft. Because I, like, I get an extra inch when I, bu- when I shave my uh-huh. shaft, because I get hair about an inch up. And pops up. Yeah. Yeah. I, like it, I'm, my dick's like a werewolf. It just goes up. <laughs> It's half trans. It turns into like a furry caterpillar. Yeah. <laughs> it's a think- very hungry caterpillar. <laughs> Not very big yet. <laughs> um, do you do you think there's someone out there with like a full full fur up to the tip? A full werewolf dick? Full, yeah. <laughs> full teen wolf? <laughs> uh, Hopefully I'm- it's not a teenager. I'd kill myself if that was me in the locker room. <laughs> I whip my dick out. It's just... Just covered in fur. That would be it. And all the guys are looking at me. Girls like dogs. <laughs> Girls hey, like you want to see my dog? <laughs> Whip it out. Let you, it can out. Get, you can pet it. Yeah. Uh, it sheds I, a bit. It's got to be Careful. Italians, right? <laughs> the, those hairy guys? For sure. They're so hairy. They just got a hair on their dick. Mm-hmm. That's why they're so into sausage and meatballs. Because that's hairless. Yeah. They're jealous. Like, I want to eat that. Yeah. <laughs> my grandpa probably has a hairy... Is, isn't he Turkish or is yeah. he? Uh, yeah. Mediterranean, kind of same realm. <laughs> He's a little uh, stuffed grape leaf over there. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> stuffed grape leaf? That's Mediterranean. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love those things. <laughs> yeah. They're so good. That's a good way That's to call That's my favorite. Like a Greek twink. A stuffed grape leaf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a Greek gay guy. Yeah. That's good. Uh, you got the sniffles? A yeah. Still, still a little bit. 
You got some fluticasone if you need some. Fluticasone? Yeah. What the fuck is that? It's no spray. Oh. If you want to, you ever want to share? <laughs> that's that's just the most disgusting it's thing. So gross. My mom growing up, she'd be like, anytime I get sick or have allergies or something, she's like, "Do you want no spray?" I have no spray. I was like, "I don't want to use your fucking nose spray, mom." You can't share that. No, it's disgusting. It's so you, gross. You're already sick, and you just slobbered from your nose all over the spray. Yeah. And then you're here, you go for it. It's already lubed up for you. <laughs> It'll go in nice and easy. <laughs> I barely would like drink after my mom. Uh, so if we're gonna get to this. Uh, were you like pretty germaphobic as a yeah, kid? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't drink over anybody either. Same. Did you have an individual fork for each piece of food you were eating? Like if you had chicken, mashed potatoes, and peas, did you have to have a fork for each one? No, it wasn't that way. But I would wipe it with a napkin <laughs> between each food. Yeah. Okay. Usually, like if it if they didn't go well together. Yeah. I'd wipe it off with a napkin. No matter what, even if they went well together, I couldn't have my food touch. Ah. <laughs> so I had to have like I had to make sure that they were all partitioned out. And then I had to have a fork for each one. No way. Real brutal at buffets. Looking back on oh that, that was gosh. so embarrassing. <laughs> Just grab new silverware. Every yeah, time. well, we had to get the waitress over and be like, do you, get, do you have like five more forks? <laughs> <laughs> I would have killed you, my, you were my son. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Um, just imagine the whole dishwasher is filled with my utensils. <laughs> oh my, yeah, it would probably be filled in a day. Yeah. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah. Like, and, I mean, I've seen you eat, you eat like 10 times a day. <laughs> Yeah, I eat quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I just I'm weird about saliva. Yeah. So I didn't like that. Like if my my parents like drank after some I'm yeah. like, barely touch your lips to it. <laughs> like don't get any spit on it. Oh, I'd be even worse. I, they would take like uh say we were out and I was drinking a water, they would take a sip and I just would not touch it mm-hmm. again. Yeah, I'd, I'd be like, No, it's yours now. <laughs> it's your, I'm yeah. not taking it. God, I mean that sucks because anyone can just take anything from you if they like yeah. it. Like no, I don't want it anymore. They would they would bully me like that. They would just take a sip out of it and be like, "Oh, you don't want it anymore." Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was bad. I was bad about like hand washing. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, I would always hand wash, and I'd have friends over, and they wouldn't yeah. wash their hands, and I'd, I'd like I'd listen after they flush the toilet to hear the sink <laughs> ran. And I'd be like, "Did you wash your hands?" You're the hand police. Like, yeah, I was. Let me sniff them. Let me see yeah. if you stoke. I would. <laughs> I was the worst. I uh, I wasn't that bad about hand washing. Only, I couldn't have my hands sticky. That was my only thing. Mm. Is if they were sticky, I, w- I could just I was f- paralyzed. <laughs> just like get me to the <laughs> washroom, please. Oh, that's so funny. But yeah, I'd, freaked out. I wouldn't. I wouldn't wash my hands. I still don't wash my hands after I use the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm cooler with it now. Shit is a little. Yeah, I'll do it after shitting. Yeah, that's that's. I'll do the sniff test, and if it's bad, then I'll wash my hands. I'm oh joking. my gosh, <laughs> that scares me. <laughs> yeah, you get E. coli. There's dangerous stuff. Yeah, in there. there is. You get a little romaine lettuce situation down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chipotle. Yeah, I'm. I'm very uh, lax with it now. The only thing that it has to be clean is like kitchen mm-hmm. and like bathroom. Yep. Like I don't want to see like ha- stuff on the toilet. It's the only thing I'm bad at. I hate. Yeah, I hate that too. I also I don't like stuff on my silverware. No, oh, like dirty. streaks. Yeah, yeah I'm I weird about silverware and stuff. I'll like go to someone's house and I'll check it. Yeah, I'll wash. I think something. we have streaks on ours because the you can't always help it. The dishwasher has yeah. like a uh, it leaves streaks from the soap and all that. Yeah, usually like I'm cooler with streaks now. I used to yeah. any water spots whatsoever. I'd really? wash it. Water spots are just like uh, it didn't get fully soaped mm-hmm. or like there's still soap on it. It's one of the two. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Yeah. My mom hated me for it, though. She was, <laughs> it's just Michael, spots. we can't afford the better <laughs> dishwasher. <laughs> yeah. You want the water bill. dishwasher? Jesus. Yeah. Just re-dishwashing yeah. it. Damn. I would just, like, be... I'd just wash it with some soap in the kitchen with my hands. That's fair. Yeah. I'd just lick it. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little just, crusty on there. I'd just use a fork and i like, lick it off and i put it back in there. You probably used one of them. Just <laughs> Don't tell me that. I'm moving out. <laughs> Uh, how's your week been though you went back to ohio how was that i did it was yeah yeah i got i got like sad going back why it just uh it was for a wedding and yeah. you whenever like one of your close friends gets married you realize just how old you are You're like jesus christ I mean, we hit a eight we're we're up there we're getting there is your friend your age no uh, no he's older he's 27 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if he's gotten married at 23 or 24, yeah. that's pretty young. That is young. But, you know, we, we were like childhood friends like yeah. everyone so like everyone we grew up together mm-hmm. and just being like well dang he's he's getting married yeah you get another you can wait another four or five years yeah yeah <laughs> he could have <laughs> yeah, he <could've> waited. <laughs> yeah but they were that. together for 10 years before that so whole decade 17 27 yeah yeah that's brutal that's <laughs> he's got a <laughs> divorcer now <laughs> uh, yeah he's not the married he Everyone would come up to him and be like, How does it feel? You're married. And he's like, God damn it. It feels the same. Pussy. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, It feels the exact same. Nothing's changed. <laughs> we already don't have sex. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> I'm cool with it. <laughs> it's, I've accepted it. It's been 10 years. Yeah. I actually think they're pretty active. Really? Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> they got a dog, so maybe not anymore. How they, does the dog affect it? It's like having a kid, I think. No, nah, I you can fuck with the you can you, you can, can fuck, fuck with, with a dog, dog in the room. <laughs> you can't fuck with a kid in the room. Yeah. I would never <laughs> fuck with a dog in the room. Dog will not be scarred whatsoever. He'll just be like, "Oh, sick! They're humping." <laughs> I like doing I that, do that too. Yeah, <laughs> I do that. Like, if a kid's in the room, you got to be like, "Fuck! We either got to kill him, or, <laughs> or we got to get him out of here. We need a bigger house." <laughs> or it's just we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens when he's older. <laughs> Let's see if it scars him. See if he can actually form memories right now. Yeah. <laughs> they always say it's like three years old, but I don't believe it. Yeah. He's five. We'll see. What <laughs> That's how you test him. Test yeah. their memories. What's your first memory? My parents fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they did. They were night. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, no fun activities or like uh, no one tried to say, does anybody have any? They thing? didn't do that. What? No objection was offered. I want objections. Yeah. A wedding has to have objections. They have to, Because right? what if there's some unrequited love out there? Yeah, right? or what if, you know, like... The bride's a whore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I... Yeah. And only one person knows. Yeah. And, he, you know, the the groom doesn't know. Like, yeah, I mean, if, if I was that friend, I'd be like, all right, no. I mean... That is pretty rude to wait till the wedding day to do that. That is. You should probably is. do that sooner. It's a lot more fun that way. <laughs> this is way more dramatic. Yeah. And it's on camera. <laughs> it was when they were the first year they're dating, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to, to be on film. Every, it's so professional <laughs> yeah. here. I just wanted you guys to spend thousands of dollars to have this professionally filmed and me have my big moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was a flower girl. Were you? Yeah. Well, there was another flower girl. Like a I blew her out of the water. Dude. <laughs> like Holy an actual little sh- girl? There was an actual little girl, but they gave me flowers too, and I walked down the aisle and Hell yeah. threw my flowers, but I, I definitely did way better than her. Wait, weren't you She's part of the like, bridal party? Yeah, I was a groomsman. So why didn't you like have a, a lady to take down the aisle? Uh, we did on the way out. On the way down, oh. people walked down separate. and Actually, I was the only one to walk down the aisle. Okay. Well, no, no. The Okay, so... They really I was made the about only you. one. The brides didn't. Even, the bride didn't even. Yeah, no. So the bridesmaids, all the girls went down the aisle, and the parents, okay. the groomsmen, just kind of shuffled in from the side for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, but I went down the aisle, and I threw flowers everywhere. Hell yeah! Mm-hmm. And the thing about the wedding, I don't know if I, I don't know any little girls. <laughs> to like do you have wanna, a flower girl. Do you want to know something? <laughs> I got this website online. I really <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they wouldn't mind. <laughs> no, I just don't know any like children to have as a flower girl. Yeah, or a ring bearer. I don't have a little I boy. Think you just, it's like it could be a Craigslist thing. They're just like I'm want. willing to hire a little girl <laughs> for the night. Yeah, <laughs> that's not a good Craigslist ad. <laughs> little girls needed. Dude, I'll start like if I have a daughter, I'll. S- I'll, I'll start sort of my way. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll just say, you know, for anybody who wants to have a flower girl at their wedding, oh, who doesn't know a little girl. You'll make bank for like a good two to three years when she's cute. Yeah. And then she's going to start getting like 10 years old and be like, I, we can't yeah, do it anymore. Uh, yeah, that's She's true. not cute enough. Or some people don't have friends and then once, you know, like some, a lot of women don't have friends. Yeah. I feel like so they don't have any bridesmaids. <laughs> like my girlfriend, she does. <laughs> she's like, I don't know who's going to be my bridesmaid. Hire my daughter. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's stupid. Yeah, that's dumb. You kind of also did sweep her away from all of her friends. It's kind did. of on you. St- I stole her. Said, Babe, I'm gonna steal you, kidnap you to California. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We need to make friends out here. We <laughs> do eventually. It's kind of sad. Yeah. 
Just it sucks hanging out with your girlfriend all the time. <laughs> I like it, but no, we need to get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> we need to have a boys' night. Yeah, that's true. Boys' night would be nice. Yeah, just like hanging out, yeah. drinking some brews. You don't have a bitch blabbering in your ear, being like, <laughs> "You're drinking too much. You're gonna throw up again." <laughs> uh. Remember what happened last time? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you were just happened to be here. That wouldn't have happened yeah. if you weren't here. <laughs> yeah, you ruined it. You ruined the mood. Yeah. You made me throw up. You're so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We it was your to. breath. It's going to be hard finding a... Uh, actually, I don't know, a lot of, I think a lot of people here might be even more like a... Uh, I don't know what the word... Uh, edgy than us. Yeah. Where they're I think just, so too. We're willing to throw words around that are like are weird. <laughs> so it might you, you <laughs> know what, it might actually hard find people to hang out with. <laughs> it might be. Yeah, they're all like weirdos. They, uh, they yeah, there are. Well, I mean, where we're hanging out for sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think hey, you can go to any place and there's gonna. It's yeah, most people fair. doing stand up comedy at a bar like open mic. They're weird. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Even I went to the comedy store. A lot of them were. Yeah, weird. <laughs> that's true. I think it's just stand up comedy in general. It's just a bunch of weirdos, mm-hmm. and then like ten percent of like cool people. Mm-hmm. That you you can't. You, but it's so hard to find it's them. It's so hard. So, and we could be the weirdos. We could be. We, I mean, we do go to open mics and just sit in the corner mm-hmm. and wait for someone to talk to us. Dang. <laughs> yeah. Kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. But no other fun events at the wedding? Nothing happened? You didn't get, like, do some coke or anything? No. I barely drank. The drinks were pretty weak, but they tasted good. Open bar? Yeah. Okay, Open nice. bar. It was nice. It was just... It was It was a very chill wedding. It wasn't, mm-hmm. like, anything crazy. Um, uh, excuse me. I went to a, a wedding. It was a pretty religious wedding, but they only had beer and wine. That's it? No hard oh, alcohol yeah. at all. No it's, liquor, which I think is a little bit odd. Because I feel like uh, buying kegs of beer, you're going to end up paying more than just for, like, liquor. Yeah. Because people are going to drink more beer than they would liquor. And it's still alcohol. Yeah. So if it's a religious thing, if you're like, we don't Yeah, well, I think it's an expense alcohol. thing. Oh, wow. But I think it would be cheaper to just get everyone plastered immediately with the liquor mm-hmm. instead of them drinking beer all night long. Yeah. But you, you do buy it all in advance? Yeah, uh, I think they had like yeah they bought a bunch of yeah, kids in advance. Yeah, so you buy it all in advance. So, like, how do you calculate that? They probably yeah no they have estimates of yeah. Well, the, the bar was like attached to the wedding, so they probably mm-hmm. were able to bring in more okay. if they needed to. But there wasn't a lot of drinking at that wedding. That's the last wedding I went to. Religious. Yeah, I've never been to a religious wedding. Can't um, be that fun, can it? There's a lot of singing. <laughs> <laughs> just like a lot of people playing, you know, guitar that uh, are just like not professional, just like their friends. And my type of wedding. Dude. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not bad. It's just like different. I I never want to go to a Catholic wedding. I hear those are rough. Stand sitting up, standing down, mm-hmm. and it's like mass. You, it's like an hour. Yeah, you mass. have to go to a mass and then they get or wedding then the mass. Woo. I don't think any people our age are actually Catholic. Like, do you know one person that actually grew up Catholic and still goes to Catholic church? I think it's just all, all geezers hanging right. out at the Catholic church. Yeah. And then kids that are forced to go by their parents that are like, fuck, our parents made us do it. Yeah. It, it is, um, like, the kids are the probably the most rebellious because the religion, I don't know, they don't seem to give a shit. They're very strict, but also very lenient in ways. The Catholic Catholics? church? Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, like, it's the Italians. <laughs> Italians are Catholics, right? Yeah, they're like they're cussing and stuff. They're not as buttoned up as Protestants, I think, and they touch kids. Yeah, <laughs> that is also funny to be like, I got molested. My son's gonna get molested. I'm gonna get. He's, we're both. We're gonna stay in this Catholic church. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep the tradition going. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I. I. I've never seen anyone my age who's actually like a devout Catholic. Yeah, neither have I. I mean, even if they get back into religion, like a born again Christian. It's usually like non-denominational or like yeah. uh, Methodist or Lutheran. Yeah, it's never Catholic. It's very fear-based, and I think that's why I think people yeah. don't want. If you can choose, yeah, then you're, you're, you're gonna not going to choose scared. the scared one. Yeah, exactly. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did have a friend's mom; she converted to Catholicism. 
Like later in life. Wow. But she was like above 40 at that point. Oh. Uh, so it is strictly, maybe when we hit around 40 years old, we're going to see some casts see some pop shit. up. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we will. Yeah. We'll get converted. I, I was listening to a podcast of this guy. And he said that he had some experience in Mexico when he was 15 that made him Catholic. Like, he went to a Catholic church. and Like, he, he didn't grow up Catholic or anything. Huh. And he was just like, yeah, I like this. And then he's been Catholic ever since. I just like seeing all the little altar boys around. <laughs> it's a fun ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the implication of being in the Catholic church. <laughs> yeah, I have to like close the history. These they hitting you? A little bit. Can I hit your vape? Yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Let's make this thing a party. It, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. <clears throat> God damn. My gooch is going to be shown so much. Hell yeah. I'm like really tucking my lips in so that way I don't get, oh, get me sick. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. What else do I got? Was the flight of fine? Did you, uh, flights are always so oh fun to talk about. No. Did you have any fun experiences? Oh, so on the way, on the way there, I sat next to a rapper. Oh shit! Yeah, wire black. He was black. Really, I always expect if they if they did he, if he brought it up to you, I expected him to be white. No, huh. no but <laughs> apparently he's worked with some big names, and he was con- he was going. So as the flight was to Atlanta, and we landed, and he just starts calling everybody, puts them on speaker, and like next to me on a plane. I mean, and, he's black, so he's gonna put it on speaker. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, it started off. He called his fiance. And he goes, how's my fiance? And she goes, good. And then she goes, and then he's like, how's my son? And then his son starts, uh, like. Starts rapping. <laughs> yeah, he drops <laughs> some sick, sick bars. And then he hangs up the phone. And I'm just, like, sitting there. And I don't have my headphones in. I don't know why. But I'm just, like, staring straight. And he's like, man, I miss my son. <laughs> and like, he just kept saying it. Go and, home. <laughs> yeah, honestly, dude. Give up this career. Um, but I didn't acknowledge him. He, it was clear that he wanted to vent to me about it and yeah. talk to me about it, but I didn't want to. And then he's like, he call, he calls someone else. He he wants to talk yeah. clearly because then he just he bust out the that he's a rapper on the phone with this other person. He's like, yeah, you got a studio. Oh, well, sweet. Um. Yeah, I was supposed to go to Miami tomorrow to shoot a music video with Rick Ross. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> he starts name dropping? Yeah, he name dropped so much, and then he Wait, was talking about... Well, yeah. what, what What company did you fly? Spirit. Were you in first class? No. There's no first no. class on Spirit? <laughs> yeah. So he's a successful rapper mm-hmm. on Spirit. Yeah, he said he's finishing up the album today, and he was uh, <laughs> yeah. he's going to... Put Rick Ross on his new song. He was like, either P. Diddy or Rick Ross. I'm not sure. Bro. I think Rick Ross. <laughs> this guy was just lying to you. Yeah, he sure. was just having a fun time. He wasn't even talking to me. He's just talking to other people, but <laughs> saying it out loud. He had no one on the call. probably just like his brother or something. No, he had no one on that call. He just wanted to. I saw a guy on FaceTime. <laughs> he FaceTimed <laughs> someone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But some of the other calls, probably not. He just looked up on YouTube four hour FaceTime. Yeah. And it was just like a, <laughs> a fake FaceTime. Yeah. Well, it was after we landed and we were sitting on the runway for a while because our a plane was at our gate uh-huh. instead of us and he's he was like i'm never flying spirit again and he's like oh man i was like you got somewhere to be he's like, clearly he's you know wants me to talk to him and then he just goes yeah i got a studio i'm working i'm finishing up an album and i'm like dude if you were an actual successful person one, yeah, you wouldn't be flying spirit. No, only if, like, if it was an extreme circumstance, maybe. But if yeah. you have any success, you just spend the extra $20 <laughs> yeah. to get, like, an American. I don't know, man. But That's funny. I didn't question him. Uh, he was sitting next to probably the worst person because I, I could not care less about rap. Oh, yeah. Like, if it was experience. any other white guy, he'd probably be like, oh, my God, like, our age? Yeah. Probably be like, oh, shit, dang, you rap? You rap? You <laughs> work with Rick Ross? You just said you're like, ew, you're horny on, on <laughs> yeah. online like that? Ew, dude. You have a kid, and you're talking about women sucking your dick? I think he DM'd some random girl on Instagram, too, after Ooh. talking to his fiance. Ooh. Um, yeah. Well, she's going to be in the music video. Oh, of he course. has to look at potential models to see if they can be hot enough to <laughs> yep. to see if they're gonna put out after they film. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that must be it. 
Then, um, then on the way back, so I, I sat uh, on the way back. I had a connecting flight in Atlanta again. Mm-hmm. So on the way to Atlanta, so you met a bunch of rappers there. Yeah. Well, I sat next to two voluptuous rappers. No, <laughs> uh, black women. For this rappers. time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. more like lunch lady type. Okay, uh, that, they were. I, those were the most fun to sit next to. No, these were what? not fun because the one. Probably one was probably like two hundred fifty pounds, mm-hmm. and then the other double. That. So you're, like you sit next to me, and then double me. <laughs> yes, but you were like five foot four. Okay, so just and then double dense. you was your height really massive? She's a big five hundred. Yeah, and so we all just sat there like this the entire flight. But it was only like over a little over an hour, so it wasn't bad. They smelled great. That's great. They smell great. See, as a fat, fat per- people usually do smell a little bit good, especially if they take a little bit of care of themselves because mm-hmm. they're like, I know I'm fat. Everyone's yeah. going to blame the smell on me. I got a cologne up. Absolutely. But then, I, so I bought my seat for the flight from Atlanta to LA mm-hmm. because it's a long way. It was only seven bucks for an aisle seat. I wanted an aisle seat so I could stretch out my leg. And I sit next to a fucking mom with a crying baby. Just screaming, crying. Hell I was yeah. like, what are the odds? But the flight attendant that we had, he was so funny. Oh, he? Yeah. God, no. The, the he, gay? No. Really? Yeah. Whoa. He had four daughters. Whoa. Yeah, he was like an older, like, black gentleman. This is a surprise to me. Usually, Not older, middle age. Usually it is middle-aged gay men. Oh, there men. were a lot of <laughs> gay men. Yeah, for sure. There was, like, spirit hires gay men. But this guy, he, he was, like doing all the announcements and stuff mm-hmm. hilarious huh. he was so funny yeah he was shitting on spirit the entire time i know you guys didn't want to be here yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like you know spirit we we get a bad rap for charging for everything and we do but <laughs> dude he had like comedic timing hell yeah i think he had an instagram too he he like he plugged it he plugged it at the end he was a black comedian yeah, he he's like it. now everybody pull out your phone yep. pull out your phone right now and then look up <laughs> on instagram yeah, he, goes, <laughs> then, he goes follow the funny flight attendant <laughs> that's his thing was that actually it i'm pretty sure funny yeah. flight attendant or something. Up. he was ve- he was good he said it uh, the one thing i remember that i thought was pretty funny he goes uh that he's talking about smoking. There's no smoking allowed. Mm-hmm. It comes with a two thousand dollar fine, which is expensive, oh, so you can right? Do it. Yeah, you can smoke, but it's two thousand dollar fine. And he's like, if you wanted to spend that much to fly to L.A., you wouldn't be flying Spirit. And I was like, that, that's a good, that's a good line. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> if you buy a private jet, can you smoke on it? Like, if you charter a private jet, I doubt it, because uh, probably if you pay enough. Yeah, because that would be the most fun to smoke on a plane. Yeah, that would. I just want to smoke on a plane or like in a restaurant because I was too young to ever get that experience. Mm -hmm. I just want to light up in the middle of a restaurant and just go to town. Yeah, you could probably most definitely vape on one. It's just there's 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 fire hazards with. Oh, you've done it before. (laughs) (laughs) You can't do it in the bathroom because they have sensors there. Mm. But if you do it at your seat. You can, like, I, put, I wear flannels when I fly most of the time, so I put it in my flannel pocket, and I'll just go, <laughs> and then I'll do it where you can't see it come out. That's nice. And especially if it's, like, a at night flight, that mm, all, it's all dark in there, it. can't see anything, so you have to cover the LED light of the vape. <laughs> <And> <laughs> that's also the re- reason I got Zins, so that I could Zin in oh, the airport. Yeah. Dude, Zins taste so bad, though. Oh, it gives me heartburn immediately. Oh, my God. That feeling, like, in the back of your throat. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I hate that. And you get like a white substance in your mouth and you have to just keep on spitting after you're done with it. Oh, yeah. I just swallow it. Ugh. Ugh. Not Ugh. not like the actual Zen, but the yeah, substance, yeah. whatever it is. <sighs> That's foul. Yeah. I don't think you could actually smoke on a plane, though. I feel like that. A cigarette? Yeah, I'm sure no, there's some can't. rich asshole who has, who's mm-hmm. been like, I paid, you know, 50 million for this jet. I can do it. Well, if it's your own. Yeah, if it's your own, you can do whatever yeah, the fuck you, you want. Can. It's not smart at all. <laughs> just that yeah, is... there's bang bus. Where's the uh, <laughs> the fl- uh, bang Where's... flight? F- flight fuck. Yeah, flight fuck. <laughs> that, there we go. <laughs> I don't know, dude. They should make that. The porn company's got to be rich enough now where they could just buy a jet uh-huh. and then start doing fly fucking. And then they do that zero gravity thing where you descend really fast. Everyone's in midair, yeah. and then you start fucking. <laughs> yeah, they should and. Like, do they ever do anything with the driver in Bang Bus? Have they ever done that? 
So it'd be cool to do it to the pilot. That would they just be. go into the cockpit and be like... Give him roadhead? Yeah. <laughs> airhead? <laughs> this is really the cockpit now. That's a good, that's a good Air little head. uh, airheads advertisement. Yeah. <laughs> that They did have like those sexual commercials kind yeah. of back then, like Skittles did. Yeah. You know, with the, the bra- like he's coming on her face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just Skittles. So then the lady goes down and then she starts blowing him mm-hmm. and then he gets an airhead. Yeah. His head just inflates. Yeah. Damn, we need to write this up and send it to Airheads. Uh-huh. <laughs> we, we should bring back, like, sexual, Sex- yeah. sexual commercials again. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, it'd be a perfect opportunity. We could do it on, like, HBO and shit. If you're watching a rated R thing, they just give them to them. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Easy. Why, why don't they? I don't know. Like, there should be, like, rated naked R attractions. Attraction? Yeah. Put it on there. Kids aren't going to be watching it unless you're a bad parent, so. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. It's like those uh, old local TV, like a uh, call-in ads, where you call in for a sex line. Those are all sexual, too. Mm-hmm. Just put them on. I don't know Fuck what it. those are, but yeah. Really? Universe- I was working nights at Home Depot. It's even still a thing where, like, uh, midnight to 4 a.m., if you're up and watching local television, like the local ABC mm-hmm. channel, um, there'll be advertisements for like call 1-900 oh yeah and we have our sexy operators on the line waiting nice. for you nice yeah yeah i probably saw that when i was younger like staying up late that's uh, not bad have you ever called one no <laughs> no i drove we were uh, i wanted to get into calling local radio stations because i like radio and we were listening to a christian station one day just like seeing what it was about yeah. and they said call in and I was on hold for 15 minutes. I don't know if they still... I, I gotta get I gotta get into that. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be very good. Would you swear on it? Would you be like, hey, what's no, the, what the, the fuck is up, guys? I know the radio rules. I know if you start swearing, they immediately kick you off. Mm-hmm. And if you immediately go against their word, you're gonna get kicked off. So you have to be on their side initially. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. So, what do you mean? So, like, if you call into a Christian station, you have to pretend you're Christian mm-hmm. and like the station. Otherwise, they're immediately going to kick you off. Okay, you could do that for a few minutes and then slowly start to become weird. Harp on one thing Mm -hmm. eventually. Yeah, that's the way to do it. You never want to, when you prank call on or something, you never want to immediately be the contrarian Mm -hmm. and go wild off the bat. You want to ease them into it. Yeah, that's that's good. Do you ever do any prank calls? Never. Well, to friends and stuff, but not like that. Never like a business. I was too scared. I, I think we did like pizza huts and stuff we do like pizza places we would just do like is your refrigerator running you better go catch it those type of things <laughs> so you were young 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 yeah. <laughs> maybe like 14 uh, <laughs> couldn't come up with anything better nope <laughs> uh, i, I would have froze I been like, what, oh, so, uh, get one large pizza please yeah <laughs> the issue wanna... is is like i thought i was gonna get in trouble so i don't want to go too off the handle uh-huh I was too scared of trouble to get, actually do the call yeah that's how i was i was very scared of trouble yeah I wish I was more reckless as a kid. That would kind of done some stupid shit. Yeah, I did like stupid shit for my like to my own body, of just recklessly like <laughs> fucking hurting myself, jackass style. Yeah, but not not anything that would actually get me in trouble. Nah, I, mean, I didn't do that either. Mm-hmm. I was a goody two shoes. You seem like it. Oh, uh, I was uh, taking a nap the other day, and uh, Rachel took a video of me snoring. Mm. And I can no longer deny that I snore. <laughs> it's so fun that she said, like, you snored so loud last night. I'm like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> I, I don't snore. <laughs> I don't snore. I don't remember it. <laughs> That's the funny way to get <laughs> you them. You said that. I said, I don't remember snoring. I guess I didn't do it. <laughs> That's the most fun way to deny. Uh, just snoring all night long and keeping them up. Yeah. I don't remember it. So Was it bad? <laughs> I snore Was, pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, it's loud. It's loud. So I understand her, like wanting to prove it but yeah. it's so funny to just deny snoring it's like being a dad it is it's the most fun but thing. you knew you like accepted it before you knew that yeah. you were you were I know just I being facetious yeah okay it's so fun to deny it, it. is <laughs> is it also fun to keep them up it's kind of funny yeah it is because <laughs> <laughs> you're sleeping sad oh i won't sleeping so good doesn't bother me a bit i mean you might <laughs> develop sleep apnea when you're older and have, who cares i'll die uh, in my sleep yeah, i don't traumatize cares? her again <laughs> <laughs> do you want some mouth tape i got tape to no i want to snore okay <laughs> I want her to suffer. <laughs> I want to keep denying it. I want to be like my dad when you're like, are you asleep over there? No. We heard you snoring. No, you didn't. No. I'm just breathing. 
I've just closed. My eyes are closed. I'm watching with you. Mm-hmm. I'm still watching the movie. <laughs> <laughs> snoring kind of becomes like cute in those situations. When you're an old man snoring, it's kind of like, oh. <laughs> as an old man? No, yeah. it's cute as like a kid does it. Oh, yeah. Old for man, sure. it's like you fucking fell asleep again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's endearing. You like when like grandpa's in his chair and he's like, oh, oh yeah. That's yeah, Thanksgiving. I think middle age is the part where it's not cute. No. It gets cuter when you're old. Mm-hmm. But middle age, you're like, what the fuck, Dad? You fell asleep again? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, Dad, close your fucking mouth, dude. <laughs> Ugh. Do you do anything fun thing like that? Like you deny you doing something that you definitely know you do? <sighs> now that I can think of. That's fair. No. That's fair. Was I'm it? denying something right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never do that. No, never. Never. I've never done it once. Uh, oh, I had a fun thought the other day. I was thinking of those harmonica holders that like the bluesy people mm-hmm. use. John Mary uses that. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking it'd be funny because you're feeling bluesy. If you use it to hang yourself, <laughs> <laughs> just hanging yourself from the harmonica holder. Oh, dude. That's how the musicians should have killed themselves. Huh? That's how musicians should kill themselves. It is. With their instrument? Yeah. Just. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Is there like another instrument that you can do something like that with? Guitar strap. Easy. You oh, put, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh, drum kit. You can just uh, stab, cut your wrist with the drumsticks, <laughs> sharpen them up real quick, and just stab yourself. Yeah. Um, there was that. I found a weird TikTok account that was like a, a crime scene cleanups, which is absolutely brutal to watch because they just show it's all suicides. That's every all it single is. One? Yeah, it's not a crime. <laughs> <laughs> kind of is. They just didn't survive to get penalized. It's a crime. It's a crime against Jesus. Yeah. It's sinful. They'll they'll pay for their sins. Yeah, Don't worry. <laughs> they'll pay in hell for it's, killing themselves. It's bad. I've seen a few of those. They're they are gnarly. It's, brutal. it's so much blood because oh. it's not like you bleeding where you're like covering it and trying to keep it in. It's just they're like, dead, so it's all coming out. <laughs> they don't have the decency to, yeah. to plug themselves. Their dam is gone. The yeah. dam has been breached. And <sighs> the dam was their head, and it's no longer there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm well, just I like, just I just heard about a guy who killed himself by shooting him in, himself in the femoral artery. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a brutal way. You just stab it. You can just knife yourself there. Yeah. Don't shoot yourself. But it's kind of smart. Yeah. Like, it, I mean, if you miss, though, ooh. It's kind of asking for attention, because you might survive that one. Yeah. Because if, so, if anyone comes in, you're still going to be alive. You're going to be bleeding out. It, and you're you, going to be like, oh. You know, <laughs> fast with that. Really? This is like Let's a try huge. It. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I Like, if you... Is this in the crowded? Yeah. You're fucked. I always see in horror movies, they get the Achilles. Do you bleed out fast there, too? What, like they cut the Achilles? The back of the ankle, yeah. Um, I think they do that to immobilize. There's okay. a thing that, like, some people, my, that I heard of, where people will, like, hide under your car. Yeah. And then you open it and they slash your Achilles. I had a, a dream like so you that. you can't run. Kind of like that when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I had a nightmare that I got out from my bed, and then the cat in the hat was underneath my bed, and he took the batteries out of my Achilles. So it's kind of like he, he, he cut your Achilles, him, yeah. and I couldn't walk, and then I don't remember the rest of the dream. I might have been brutally molested by cat <laughs> in the hat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you like that movie now? No. no. You hate it? I, after, after that, I felt violated, so I, I hated the cat in the hat. <laughs> That'd be so funny if you liked it. Like, it's still really good. It's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, One of my would, favorites. Can't deny it. <laughs> I have, like, I used to have sleep paralysis pretty bad. I stole every now and then. I wake really? up screaming sometimes. Yeah. I actually had it the other night, and I was, like, trying to get Lily's attention. I was like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I funny. can't move my mouth. <laughs> I'm like, uh. uh. <laughs> Just, I couldn't move my arms. They were, like, above my head. I was like, uh. <laughs> Ah, it's so funny because then when you do wake up fully, you're, you're like, like what? you couldn't fucking hear me. Why didn't you help? <laughs> and it's she, literally nothing. I didn't even tell her. I didn't tell her. I had sleep paralysis this one time. I was in Florida and I was asleep and I had like a dream that someone was in the closet mm-hmm. and they, I was like, help. <laughs> I was trying to yell for help for them. And I dreamt that they like crawled out of the closet and poked me with a syringe in my foot oh yeah yeah <laughs> they gave me aids or poison or cyanide or something because yeah. I, I like started drifting back to sleep i was like oh 
That shit's scary. It is, yeah. I've never had like a demon though. Have you ever had that? Yeah, I have a painting. I think I left a painting at uh in Ohio, but I have a painting of like uh the guy that I I see like I've never seen the same person twice. It was kind of like a Slenderman figure, but in a cloak. It was kind of like a Dementor from Harry Ooh, Potter. <laughs> I'm watching the Harry Potters right now. Kind of like a Dementor getting at me. Dang. So, uh, but I, then I saw like a lady that was a vase that turned into a real person, and I was awake. But it was like a vase in my dream, and I woke up, and the vase was still there, and then the, the vase turned into a lady shaped like the vase. So she was all contorted. While you were awake? Yeah. Like it, with mine, if I see something like that, I can get up and they don't they don't go away until I turn the lights on. No way. Yeah, it's fun times. That's that's creepy. No wonder you hallucinate when you smoke weed. Yeah, I'm a good boy. You got a very active imagination. Mm. You, would you say your imagination's good? One might say. One might say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I did get molested at three years old in a dream. So. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I thought you were just about to drop like some no. some trauma on me. Never in real life, always in dreams. <laughs> now that I think about it, it could have been, been correlated. It, it could have been in real life. No, I think about it. I've been molested quite a bit in dreams <laughs> <laughs> at a very young age. Jesus Christ! You, when you were three, you had a dream. Uh, yeah, because I was. A, it was had to be below the age of four because I, I was in my old house. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> that's what I think about it. I might have been blessed You might have been <laughs> You gotta go to therapy dog no, no. Get that out of there uh, I'm a man <laughs> <laughs> No I, I just had very weirdly Sexual dreams as a kid Yeah Did you see your God parents damn, I or was molested. Yeah I mean How else were you Introduced to it It was I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we're not going through this. Oh gosh! <laughs> Bottle it down, push it down, push it down. And it wasn't. No, <laughs> it didn't happen to me. It wasn't late night at McDonald's. No, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't in the play place. A random homeless man waiting there for me. No, it wasn't. I had my first kiss at a McDonald's play place. Yeah, I'm with a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a three year old girl, like I was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you count that as your first kiss? No, no, I was joking. Okay. Right. Mine was at 14 years old. Nice. <laughs> kind of a late bloomer on that one. Really? I yeah, all so. my friends had already kissed girls. Really? I, I had my first kiss at like 14, I think. Mm. Also, yeah, I was. And I lost my virginity the, this year. This year, <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah, 23 years old. That's what I call a man of God. <laughs> yeah. There. Yeah. Well, else? Well, oh, I wrote this down just because I thought it was a funny thought of like the harmonica holder. Yeah, it'd be like a fun children's story, like uh, the tale of the harmonica holder and other fun things to kill yourself with. <laughs> oh my God. It has like a ring to it, like it'd be a children's book. Because the harmonica holder, it's alliterative. <laughs> yeah, and other fun things to kill yourself with. <laughs> just list them all out. What are some fun things? Well, we can do musical instruments. Musical instruments is pretty funny, especially if you don't play an instrument. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like this isn't even related. He wasn't even the next Kurt Cobain. Uh -huh. He just had a guitar that he never played. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a children's toy is like a hula hoop or something. Oh yeah, that'd, that'd be, be fun. Good. <laughs> Not even like uh, you just like put razor blades on the insides and then you start hula hooping oh, and he gosh. just cuts saws you in half. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what else is there? Uh, a comedian doing a microphone cord. Oh, yeah. That'd be funny. There should be, like, a book of just, like, people in their professions killing themselves according yeah. to whatever their profession is. Stapler. For, like, an office worker. Mm. Like, a stapler to the wrist. Mm -hmm. uh, porn, they just jump out their building. Porn star just uh, a dick. chokes on a dildo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I promise this is purposeful. You have to... In the suicide note, it has to be, like, I actually meant to do this. This isn't just a funny gag. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What else? Anything? Uh, airplane worker. Just 9 11. <laughs> uh, uh, that was fun. It was. <laughs> it's dark. Yeah. Uh, oh, another dark thing. I try to be like a. I was thinking about this as, as a joke or something, but. Oh, what the hell is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Does, uh, do the phones make it weird? Yeah, it depends on like if you're getting a call or something, or if it's like getting data. It'll, really? If it's close to the cord. But uh, I was thinking, I tried to be like a novelist and when I was like 10 years old, uh, just randomly. I wanted to start writing a book, yeah, like Stephen King. 
Yeah. And it, it was dark as shit. Like, I had a lady lose her baby within the first five pages of the book I was writing, and I wrote, like, three chapters, so I, it was pretty hard to go anywhere from there. <laughs> yeah, where do you go? Do you I, remember? I remember she, it was, like, a she was left somewhere by her husband, or, like, not even husband, because she wasn't married, obviously, that whore. She, her, <laughs> That's her, why she lost the baby. Her boyfriend left her at, like, a gas station on the side of the road, and she had a miscarriage when she came back out from the bathroom. And knew that he he wasn't there anymore, and like the cops took her away. But it's so funny to me, and looking back at it now, I'm just like sipping on a Kool Aid jammer at ten <laughs> years old, being like, "Let's give this bitch a fucking miscarriage." <laughs> I want to know like what what verb verbiage she used. I, I wish I had that because uh, it was on a Microsoft Word document. Yeah. It was on a, the family computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like such heavy shit, though. Yeah. But then with the the vocabulary of a ten year old. Yeah. So it's like, and, and I, then her baby died. <laughs> she walked out after taking a pee, and then her baby died. Blood came out of her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I knew I had to be like 10 years old because it was either 4th, 5th, or 6th grade. So it was anywhere from 9 to 11 years old. 9-11. Yeah. Wow. So uh, right around 9 to 11 years of old, I was like, miscarriage time. <laughs> Maybe I was molested. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, by a woman. <laughs> Too mature. <laughs> yeah. Damn. It's just so funny. That's dark. I was thinking, like, for a joke, the candy cigarette, but that's just too on the nose. Everyone fucking does candy cigarette. Mm-hmm. Kool-Aid jammer so funny, because I guarantee I was drinking some form of Kool-Aid. Probably. I not been a jammer, but... <laughs> well, which was the Kool-Aid? The... Uh, I think jammer's the pouch, mm-hmm. but the uh, bursts is the plastic one, the I better like, one. I like the bursts. Me too. The bursts are the best. I always call the bursts the jammers, but... Because uh, it's a better name. Yeah. But... It was. Yeah, I I smacked down those bursts. Those were so good. Personally, I mostly drank uh, Capri Sun Roaring Waters because they were zero sugar. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Capri Sun Normal, I don't think I've ever had. Oh, man. Because they have sugar in them. What about Kool-Aid? Kool-Aid, they have sugar-free Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah, that's fair. And the jammers have, or the bursts have less sugar than regular Kool-Aid. Have you tried a Hugs? Hugs I can drink. Hugs are good. Are we should sh- we should buy a fucking cake of we should of hugs for this house. Let's go to Sam's Club and buy. Let's some go hugs. right now. <laughs> After this, <laughs> we're driving. Dude, Fifty minutes. Perfect. Uh, Let's tell get- the ladies we're gonna write while we're driving. Go get hugs. Uh huh. I'm gonna be. We're both gonna be talking. We're gonna be. You'll be writing down in the passenger seat. Uh huh. And we're just gonna go get some hugs. <laughs> That's. <laughs> They're staying at home. They don't get a choice in what flavors we get. They don't even get any. <laughs> they don't. Get, they don't get. Any they didn't hugs. pay for them. They don't get any hugs. No. <laughs> And then you and I are going to be in this room all night long sipping, sipping on some hugs. <laughs> sipping the hugs. I love it. I love it. What uh, What about, I don't know. Hugs were big for me. Hugs yeah. were big in my household yeah. too. Because they're also just so cheap. You get like a big crate of them for mm-hmm. like 10 bucks. Yeah. I liked nice. whenever uh, whenever I played football and there was a pizza party and they'd show up with like oh, the yeah. different flavored of Hawaiian punches. Okay. I like that. I couldn't but drink they would those. also bring the hugs too. Yeah. Hugs and Capri Suns. I would grab two different flavored hugs and then I would like uh, do the holes in them. The mm-hmm. hole in the front, hole in the back so you could like squirt it in your mouth. Oh. And I would just do like one one flavor, the other flavor. No way. Easy. We got to get some hugs, dude. We got to get some hugs in here. My dad, he, the fucking maniac he is, he would take off the whole metallic cover and just down them. That's what like I Like a shot. Too. No. Yeah. No. Oh. You got to poke a hole with your fingernail in the front and the back. Okay. And just sip on what? it. What? In the front and the back? Yeah, because that way you get an air hole mm. so that it actually flows out. I think that's, yeah, I think I was too stupid to do that because <laughs> I'd always poke a hole in the front. I'm like, God, why it's won't it come out? Yeah. <laughs> so then I just rip the whole thing off and down that's it. That's fair. No, my dad would do that too. And I'd be like, you fucking maniac. What are you yeah, doing? You animal. Oh. That's actually, good. have you ever said. It's called hug. Fuck to your smarter. parents? What do you mean? Have you ever like said fuck in front of your parents? Oh, all the time. Really? I started when I was like 16. Huh. You never? Never. Really? Never said fuck or pussy or like any of the bad ones in front of my parents. Wow. Still. They've never said them either. Oh, For wow. sure, my parents have never said pussy in front of me. <laughs> <That'd be wild. laughs> yeah, that would be weird. But my, I've only heard my mom say fuck like two or three times. And then she was like repeating someone something someone said. Mm. And then my dad I've heard once. What was that for? Yeah, I think he was just like mad, didn't know I was on the other end. 
What was that like for you? It was fun. Like, <laughs> I say it all like, the time. Yeah, I'm like, can we finally break this seal and be regular people? <laughs> and you weren't allowed. <laughs> Still have never said fuck in front of my parents. No way. You got to do it. You can say it in front of mine when they come visit. They'll right. be here in a week and a half. I'm, that's the only word I'm going to say to them. <laughs> that's it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they walk. That's just Liam. <laughs> he has to rats. He has to get it out. <laughs> yep. I, I started saying it. My mom, she, she called me like a little fucker and stuff when I was younger. Really? She would, yeah, she'd use it mm. all the time. So I just started... I was like, why not? You do it. Why can't I? Yeah, that's fair. I didn't hear fuck until I was like seven years old. From like, a, I was at wrestling practice. And then uh, another dad got real mad at the coaches and was like, fuck this. And I was like, whoa, and I covered my ears. Because <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was bad. So I, was <laughs> I know. Love. And I was sparring with somebody like during practice. I was like, cover your ears. And he did it too. <laughs> Yeah. Um, just in case he said it again. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> Not so good. Where are we? God, it's so hot in here. Yeah, I guess it's toasty. Like forty minutes. Oh god, we're already at fifty seven minutes. This no is flew by. Way. This is fast. Yeah, it this was. Is fast as fuck. I felt like last time we were like, is it done? And it was at twenty. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, I'm so sweaty. Would you have any Closing, any closing thing you want to talk about? What do I didn't even write anything down. No, um, was, you had a pretty eventful week. Yeah, I did. I don't. I'm bad at keeping memories. <laughs> it's all that weed you're smoking, yeah, you goddamn stoner. Maybe you're gonna be a little loser burnout over there. <laughs> uh-huh. Hell yeah. Um. Yeah. Nothing new really. I wrote here. I hope I'm adopted. I don't want to think about my parents having sex. Oh, that was a I tag th- to a joke you have. Yeah, it was. <laughs> but I think that that would be better. Yeah, I mean, they have one real one, your brother. And then yeah. you, you could just be adopted and you won't even care. Yeah. It's like they are. Now, even if they are having sex, I don't care. But, yeah. Because, yeah, I don't want to think about them. <laughs> I look too much like them, though. I have you know. ever, like, uh, been masturbating and then all of a sudden the thought of your parents having sex comes into your mind? You're like, oh, fuck, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I remember one time I, I got so close to getting caught masturbating never been caught personally. well yeah not like walked in on mm-hmm. but uh i i was doing doing it it was i had like summer school work so it was it was like early high school probably okay. ninth grade or something and i i was like kind of finished with it and my parents left they're like make sure you finish your homework i was like all right i will and i immediately just you know i, I look up some some content and then they get home, and they were like, "All right, I want to see, I want to see like your work." <laughs> and, I, and then um, I knew that I had left up the Before. video, and I was like, "Oh god, oh god, no!" <laughs> and uh, they're like, "Show it to me now." Like, I want to see it right here. And I was like, I can't log in. I forget the password. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I couldn't log into my computer. I don't know. And I brought it down to the kitchen table, and my mom was like, "Chris." That's my dad's name. But she's like, Chris, come here and nope, log into this computer. <laughs> and I was like, no. he's like, hold on one second. And then she kind of turned away real quick. And I typed in the password really quick and then exited exactly. out. I was like, oh, I remember I remember the password. <laughs> here's here's my homework. It, that was the most fear I've had ever in my life. Like, you know, whenever yeah. you feel like you're about to get caught, you get the staticky feeling in your throat. You're like, yeah. oh, my God. Your heart's bump, bumping. Mm. Your adrenaline kicks in. Dude, I was yeah. so scared. It's like, what do you... Well, how, they, yeah. I was probably watching It's a some, pop-up. It's a virus. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. And I was watching... I was most likely watching some gross shit. Gruesome. Oh, yeah. my gosh. They were gone for like an hour. <laughs> and it was still up. So, yeah. <laughs> I was deep Didn't in the weeds. Finish. <laughs> no, probably not. I don't know. Uh, what? Well, yeah, should know West Coast. Coast on there. <laughs> <laughs> just ridiculousness. Yeah. You don't want to... <laughs> they would have disowned you. It's just an episode of ridiculousness, yeah. They would have disowned you. You were, yeah. Michael, you were jerking off to shit in the West Coast. <laughs> I wasn't jerking off. Disgusting. It's just funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I was laughing. I think you're defining my son jerking off to Chanel West Coast would be worse than porn. For sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? What? How did I raise you? I didn't raise you to be like It'd this. It'd be worse than gay porn. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Uh, I prefer gay porn over regular porn for my kid to watch. 
I'd be like, thank God, no pregnancy scares in our future. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to be a grandpa at 33 years old. <laughs> yeah, and I don't relate to it either, so I'm like, go hog wild, yeah, buddy. go for it. I don't mm-hmm. care. You can have as many boys over as you want. Yeah. You can dump loads. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get the the hiv. But it's it's like cool now. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, something. like they said, like it's it's been like people have been living with it and stuff. But Yeah, you can be a detective now. Yeah, we all were. those prep pill commercials were... <laughs> We went into this last episode, and I compared being a guy in, like, the 90s with HIV being, like, a vampire going out into the sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> ja! <laughs> Dude, that, that has got to suck so bad, like, in knowing someone who died from HIV then. Oh, yeah. And then now, and then people are just later. Like, I've had sex with 100 guys <laughs> this week. Yeah. Unprotected. And I have it already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That would piss me off. Yeah, me too. It's like a uh, Dan Soder. He, uh, he, like uh, his dad and uh, aunt both died of Hep C. Completely pure, curable now. No way. <laughs> that is so sad. It was like ten years later, completely curable. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, that's a bummer. That's a good way to leave it <laughs> <Yeah>. off. <laughs> It's been another episode of the Share Party Podcast. I'm Liam Selvage. This is Michael Dick Insider. We'll see you next week. Tell a friend. Tell a friend to listen <laughs> and comment. Leave a nasty comment.